another friendly, Spain beat Argentina 2-1. It was a good game, that. Oh, Alonso's penalty. That was one of the best penalties I've ever seen. Yeah, right on the roof of the net. Messi scored a penalty as well. Mm. I tell you what, the Argentina, they had a lot of chances. Well, a few chances in that game. Well, I just don't... I mean, I think they can play without pressure now. They're, it's yeah. a friendly, they know they're qualified, you know, they've got yeah, a, lot yeah. good, g- a lot of good players, you know, we've said it before. I mean, had any of the players in the squad played for Argentina before, though? This <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Di Michaelis got the penalty away, didn't he? It was an outrageous handball. Mm. Um, from the man who's like 36 and has got about three caps. <laughs> but the, the man at the helm, or so we're told, uh, Diego Maradona, has been banned for two months from football after his um, little media outburst, if you remember. And uh, when he was saying everybody was uh, taking it up the what's it and one yeah. thing and another to all the uh, journalists. Uh, I love this. Though. It could have been worse, actually, that ban, but <laughs> FIFA said they'd taken into consideration the sincere remorse shown by the Argentinian <laughs> coach. I mean, that's remorse. That I don't think... believe that. Yeah, yeah, backhander. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know if that's the punishment at all, is it? Well, but it's not as like they've got any competitive games in the next two months, so well, what difference does it make? I mean, Marad- to be fair, Maradona did put up a good defence. He said that uh, much worse things have happened in football. Yeah, so, mostly um, done by you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love this, though. He said, since I took the post with the national team, I knew that this could happen, and it did. As if it was inevitable, he yeah. was going to have a because terrible... I am a mouthy guest. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet he probably said, it's not even the worst thing I've done. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even in the top three. You don't even want to know what the worst <laughs> thing I've done is. You should have been here in the 90s. Yeah, it's not <laughs> the worst <laughs> thing I've done this week. <laughs> <laughs> that involved a cucumber. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Um, uh, he said, I'm taking refuge in my team, my family, my daughters. I'd imagine they'd probably come under family. Yeah. And in the people from the street. Yeah. It makes uh, it sound I like make your own taking... minds up there. <laughs> it just makes it sound like he's taking loads of people down to a bunker. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're okay. Now yeah. let's just get ruined. <laughs> I've got nothing to do for two months. Where's my air gun? <laughs> he said, I'm concentrating on that. On the people without microphones, not on what the media says. Is he, is he, is he going to take that time um, off he's got to go and pay his tax bill initially? <laughs> <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Has he won the Euro lottery recently? Exactly. Probably not. Argentinian model Analia Sarkez says she's going to be revealing appalling details of her affair <laughs> with <laughs> Pete Donaldson. <laughs> 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 appalling details. Oh, that's what, you yeah. think. what a revelation! Yeah. AKA Diego Armando Maradona. El in, Diego in her new book timed for release ahead of the World Cup. Is that, uh, is that his current? Is that the one that he... he His current he, disgrace. He is that the one that yeah. he yeah, burped? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is a different one, No, this is the one where he Oh, no, 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 onions. it isn't the one he burped, sorry. That was another one. Oh, right, it was um, the onions, and, and he... he, he that, onions. That and he was... pumped as well. He didn't egg his trunk. Past wind, yes. <laughs> yeah. This is, um... Uh, well, um, Analia says that uh, his body is unpredictable, but our love was real. What does what that mean? I love the translations. Like a lava amazing. lamp. Because our left, because our right. Lava <laughs> lamp. Whoever's doing the translations is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, the one you're referring to is last year, the model uh, Natalia Rosas uh, Muniz um, described her. Uh, she Apparently she cashed in on her affair with Maradona. I can't understand why. Yeah. Um, she was posing for a photo shoot with the letter M sprayed on her buttocks in shaving cream. <laughs> Classy lady. She said that uh, she about the Diego business. She said that he was very nervous, um, and uh, when he kissed me, he left a taste of onions. So I had to have a soft drink. Um, but uh, then she said I heard in a loud noise something that I thought the chair was creaking, but no, Diego had broken wind. The chair probably was creaking as well. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, he but became yet more nervous. Similar, don't they, yeah. those things? She said, he never begged my pardon, but it didn't matter. He is a romantic and deep thinker. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Kiss me. <laughs> I, I, I think I would be a bit annoyed if my body was described as unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really get what he, it means. It's same as what he was on the football field. He could go left, he could go right. Yeah. yeah. The man's had his stomach stapled. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is true. You know, <laughs> medically unpredictable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> his stitching could, could pop at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> and it might smell of onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Great well, player of the year. Yeah. <laughs> well, refusing to train. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that was the problem in the first place. Yeah. If you're winning matches, it'll be fine. Don't go on strike now. <laughs> Don't go on strike now. Well, let's move on from ridiculous, silly things that are happening at the uh, the World Cup. Luke, is that, are you in Diego Corner? I am. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can ask me, ask me what it's over like there. over here. Uh, what is it like in Diego Corner? That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah. What have you got for us, old sport? Well, Diego's not been that busy. 
over the last few days well he has well he's always busy exactly but by his standards he's not really done an awful lot but he's, he's done a press conference he's done enough he's piped up about a few things he's so done enough to warrant a visit from you to Diego Corner he's apologised to Platini after those outrageous comments he made yep he said because um, what happened was Michel Platini sent him a letter yeah. To say, look, you know, come and I was misquoted. You know, the press said this and that and the other. Mm-hmm. Let's be mates. And so uh, Diego <laughs> said, um, Mr. Platini has sent me a letter. Mr. Platini? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Mr. Platini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last week he was like Michelle the French shit or something. <laughs> now he's Mr. Platini. He sent me a letter and I would like to read it to you. He said he never has said what you reporters told me, he said. So through you, I would like to apologise to Mr. Platini, but not to Pele. <laughs> <laughs> what I find funny, though, is the fact is Maradona's kind of said, oh, no, it's all fine. But Maradona did say Well he's French And you know what they're like yeah, yeah. So they're a bigger apology I, li- yeah, I like the fact French, that he- right. I, like- <laughs> I like the fact that he used the press Like so when that gets to Platini It'll be like You're, you're the son of a whore <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it'll He's get- twisting what I said exactly. Like Frank Lampard said If you want us to speak honestly Then you must report honestly that's good. Good, uh, that was oh, a good piece of work. Frank, Frank's done well of mm-hmm. late. Frank's and he also well. was asked by um, he was also asked by I think it was a BBC journalist about his affection towards his players. Oh, that's hug. right. He yeah. always hugs and kisses them and stuff. And his face when yeah. he was asked that it was a picture. We have to stick that up on the website. Yeah, it cannot be described. No, wasn't, in it, words. wasn't it a French? Wasn't it a French uh, report? Because he was going uh, maybe the language barrier. But when uh, it was being translated in his headphones, his face just sort of went more and more contorted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he said, "I still prefer women. I am dating Veronica, who is blonde and thirty-one years old. <laughs> no, I have not gone limp wristed." <laughs> oh, Why? The, I thought Diego was married. That's offensive. I thought Diego was married. Doesn't matter. Married. Well, that's Doesn't it. Matter. I marriage cannot someone. contain that man. Yeah. Marriage can't. <laughs> can't Mar- mark him. This is a man who <laughs> woos women by breaking wind. We all know that. Yeah, very true. And smelling of onions. He's he's uh, absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> I sometimes think with Diego Maradona. I was thinking about this the other night. Is it not that we're all mental and he's normal? I hope I so, in a way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If that's how you're meant to be, then life is truly a joyous thing. Do you think? Do you think he's like an opposite man? Because like when you go, if you went, <laughs> what's an opposite man? Like, like a woman? A, <laughs> we go, we go on a date. <laughs> I'm just an opposite man. <laughs> allow me to explain. Allow me to explain. <laughs> is this a Portsmouth thing? No. Allow, allow me to explain. <laughs> the so opposite off. men of Southampton are all <laughs> weird. <laughs> the opposite. They've men got of, thumbs and everything. <laughs> That's They're enough. out of the Operation Theatre. That's enough. Come on. Uh, well, because I was saying that if you were to go out on a date with, a, with like a, night, a, you know, a beautiful woman, Veronica, thirty-one. Uh, James, you just have a trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Then you would go out of your way to not break wind and smell of onions. Uh, indeed. Whereas Maradona seems to have actually <laughs> done that on yeah. purpose. So that's why he's opposite. I don't think he did it on purpose. Just how, now, how old is Maradona? In years. I think he's 46. Right, 46. In he, human years or Maradona right. years? <laughs> no, I, I'm but not he's, sure he's, how old he's, he is. He's, 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 he's yeah. m- mid 40s to late 40s, to late 40s right? Yeah. right? If he lives to 80, he might, right? <laughs> There's a very good chance that he'll go a bit mad. God, he's right. 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 It'll yeah. just be really normal. No, he just revert back to sanity, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Benjamin Button. He goes, <laughs> he start, starts off absolutely mental. He must have been like insane. slime of Ghostbusters his when he was born. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He finds his mind. Oh. <laughs> but that's what all, uh, that's what's happened in Diego Corner. But I mean, stay tuned. The next time I'll see you on Thursday. Um, <laughs> Something uh, will definitely <laughs> have happened. I'll, I'll just lock up and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Very good. Get the FIFA court her out, stick her in, <laughs> put her in FIFA doctor. jail. Yeah. Oh, actually, a FIFA listen to this, that's probably evidence. <laughs> <laughs> probably uh, not uh, say something I may later like rely on in court. Dear, oh dear. Now, uh, it's that time again for Diego Corner. I'm, uh, can, can you hear me, Luke? Yeah, I've got you loud and clear. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. It's okay. worth pointing out that Diego Corner is actually a big yoghurt that, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Luke is sat in. As well, we this, week I've a- <laughs> this week I've actually got Diego with me. Have you? Yeah, no, not really. Ah, oh, sure. No, no. Um, but, um, what's, what's, what's going on over there? Just usual stuff, really. Candles and There's no such of thing as no, usual. Sorry. Un- <laughs> sorry, that again. Unusual stuff, actually, really, yeah. yeah. So it's full of loads of people called Diego. <laughs> so Brazilian star Diego, who missed out there? on the Brazil's called Four Hands, yeah. chilling out. Diego Four yeah. Oh, Diego okay. Tristan Melito yeah, there Melito's in. everyone's here it's brilliant um, <laughs> but yeah so uh, d- we saw Diego get involved in a bit of a uh, was he peacemaker in the 50 cups he, he was, was actually he was yeah he was getting amongst it. he's so short though bless him that he couldn't really get involved yeah, yeah, he? Yeah. but you could see them all crowded around him and, and, and as always he was like the centre of attention um, <laughs> but um, going into the Germany match uh, it's Saturday isn't it it is yes. he, he's, uh, he's piped up and said I want to place on my jersey and play yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good. he's building up for the final 
great. Get stuff. him on. And he also he could be like Blanco. He, he got that brilliant. <laughs> well, you know, his Blanco didn't come on against Arsenal. No, yeah. <laughs> no, probably for the best. Yeah, yeah, his career would never be the same again. Yeah. Um, he dedicated the win against uh, Mexico to um, a MotoGP rider Valentino Rossi. Oh yes, <laughs> <'Cause>. yeah. <laughs> Saying something what? like people thought these things, these two quotes don't really <laughs> match up. It's odd. It's like a stream of consciousness where he just picks different things from different parts of his brain and they come yeah. up together. <laughs> There are two things I want to say. People thought I knew nothing about how to be a coach, and I want to dedicate this victory to Valentino Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> Did Valentino Rossi say he couldn't yeah. be a coach or something? Weird. <laughs> but Maradona does like to do things against people, doesn't he? Rather oh, than sort of as an achievement in itself. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah. Big time. And who and who, and who does Diego? Apart from the English, who does Diego um, <laughs> dislike the most? Germany. Pele. Oh yeah, shit, Pele. All right. <laughs> apart from him, <laughs> <laughs> journalists, obviously. Yeah, oh, of course. Um, and he piped up with a great shout today. It was absolutely superb. <laughs> uh, many journalists should apologise to my players. But this is because they thought he was a rubbish. Oh yeah, because because they were touted and because he's used loads of players. And, and, In and, qualification, and they were awful. Yeah. I'm not suggesting you drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be honest and great so we all get along better that you apologise. I'm turning 50 and I am not bitter. Mm, don't know about that. But I get annoyed when people don't respect my players. It isn't easy going from being nobody's back home to winning three matches at a World Cup. At a training camp, we had to swallow what you journalists all said about being a disaster. The worst Argentine team you'd ever seen. All of a sudden, we were an excellent team. The most handsome people in the barrio. <laughs> oh, the no nice. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's oh. a great place to be, I'll tell you. I'm going to spit at us at an airport. I would spit at you. Yeah, you yeah. See, ask, I just did. Ask your mother. Did <laughs> you say that, <laughs> you say that on, yeah, the, on the old documentary? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Do you want uh, Diego Corner? You, are, are you there? I'm popping over. I mean, to be honest, I'm spending as little time as possible there this week. Yeah, we have a dark right, place to be. Yeah, a bit solemn, okay. Lights are off. Candles have practically gone out. <laughs> Dido's on the stereo. Oh, no. <laughs> Rubbish. Oh, no. It used to all be samba rhythms and stuff. Not samba, no. that's Brazil. You know Tango. I mean? Yeah, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Cumbia um, or whatever. But, um, yeah, there's still, there's still updates, you know, and, and, and to be fair to El Diego, uh, and this is probably because when it gets to a certain level of beating, you can't really get out of it or make excuses, yeah. which is definitely what happened. That's right. He was quite magnanimous, though, wasn't he? I mean, and he was, he was very accepting of a defeat. And like James said earlier, Argentina actually got a reasonable reception when they, when they went home so um, that's fair enough but he said um, that is it my time is finished I've given all that I have you might want to pass those Kleenex around Pete actually <laughs> um, I'm well enough and um, he said that whoever goes after him has to follow his attacking style <laughs> sort of attacking style sort of really just chucking players on <laughs> um, he said it's the most difficult experience of his life because to lose in front of so many good players and such good people um, it's like getting punched by Muhammad Ali yeah. um, he doesn't Not have any now. energy left but um, I, don't, I didn't want to end Diego Corner on a sort of and we may bring it back for a regular who knows I'm yeah. sure he'll still be doing yeah. stuff yeah but I wanted to end it on a sort as of as long as the man is alive note. I wanted to on a happy yeah. night you know um, Maradona's got um, Carlos Bellardo with him yeah he was who, the uh, 86 and 90 that's coach that's right yeah and um and Carlos Bellardo when Diego Maradona said that he was going to if they won it he would streak naked around Buenos Aires yeah. Yeah. Um, Bellardo wasn't having that was he not? no he said that's not good enough he said he said uh, Maradona's offer to streak around Buenos Aires was passe <laughs> and he said I say this the player who scores our winning goal in the final is free to enter me from behind <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it, he really said that? <laughs> Wow! Wow! That is uh, uh, hey. that would that would set that would set back or forward possibly gay right. I, mean, yeah. I think maybe that bombshell. Close the door. And I'm coming over. Just lock up. Yeah, maybe, maybe that put them off. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. Higuain. <laughs> oh oh just god! Lost if, me touch. If I score, I'm going to have to shag the boss. <laughs> what? I bet he was secretly hoping it was a Gero, not Tevez. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh my giddy. Anyway, I'm back now. Well. Got so is. many good players now, yeah, that's yeah, obvious to say. Right. But it's really exciting to see what they're going to do this season. Mm. Have indeed, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, w we've got a, a nice little surprise for you <laughs> <laughs> because throughout the World Cup, we, we did a little section on the show called Diego Corner, and we were all worried it was going to end there. Um, but uh, I was never worried. But no, you weren't, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Luke Moore is currently standing in Diego Corner. Oh, we brought it back from Joe. He's right, unlocked yeah. the door and yeah. he's gone in. It's a bit dusty in here. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, I'll get, it, I'll get it feeling like home again pretty soon, I think. So, here um, we go. Yeah, yeah, well, I thought I'd pop back in there. Yeah, you never so, know. It's better than being in with you lot, so... Outrageous. All right. <laughs> Carry Cheapened on. it forever. Anyway, um, Diego Maradona will be offered a new deal. 
that will keep him in charge of Argentina until the summer of 2014. You've probably seen that. Yeah, four year deal yeah. up until the World Cup. In Brazil. Brazil, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he'll take. Um, Messi was uh, wanting him to take it. Mm. But he hasn't, he, hasn't, he hasn't gone over there to, uh, to sign the deal yet. But do, do you know why? Why is Go that? On. He's why? gone to Venezuela to see Hugo Chavez. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Marcus, you bloody love. Oh, you well, bloody love, don't you? I've I've been to that country while he's been in charge. Good scenes. Do you, do, you, <laughs> do you remember when he came into power? It was kind of like, yeah. oh, this is the great white hope for uh, for, for South America. America. Yeah, yeah, for South America, and he hates America. And surprisingly, oh, he's mental. Yeah, and now he's nuts. He's yeah. absolutely. Can I, can nuts. I say my favourite thing about Hugo Chavez? And there are many uh, because he is an. Outrageously ridiculous man, yeah. but uh, he has his own radio station. Mm. In um, <laughs> is it just him? Yeah, it's called the radio station's called Suddenly Chavez. No, that's the that's the show. That's <laughs> the oh, is show. that a television show? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a radio show, and the reason and it's called Suddenly Chavez because he said um, at any hour, at any day, suddenly when you least expect it. Chavez is coming, oh and what it is, is what it is is on the radio. It's a xylophone thing, isn't it? It's no, it's a harp. <laughs> oh, if if it, you're yeah. just listening to you know on the radio, guys talking or some songs or whatever, suddenly it will just be interrupted by a harp playing, and that's it. Yeah. It begins, yeah. and it and it, and it oh. doesn't have any it doesn't have any duration. David he Cameron, can, take note. <laughs> He could go over eight hours. Anyway, the reason I'm in Diego Corner is because <laughs> him, and, him and Maradona are having a good old knees up. Him and Maradona together. Suddenly, yeah. Diego. Um, That's outrageous. Well, Maradona, he says that he said Maradona called me and he will come to the country either Monday or Tuesday. He told me that he wanted to pass through here. Um, and he said uh, he's spending the week as my guest and uh, so he won't be signing a new contract until he goes back. I told him that I wanted to get a game of football and, get, and a game of softball going and he told me I will pay for all of that. <laughs> Even even with sort of simple stuff like going to visit his mates, he's really tempestuous. Like, yeah, when you're gonna when you're gonna get here? Monday, maybe Tuesday. Yeah, yeah well, well, when? <laughs> well, I don't know. Do I? Yeah. I don't when, when know what's going to happen on the way? Suddenly. When he says, uh, "You, I'll pay for that," or "You'll pay for that," yeah. does he mean sort of financially or metaphorically? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I just thought that there's no way that Diego Maradona and Hugo Chavez spending time together <laughs> could be passed Overlooked. by by this show. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that not. is incredible. Yeah. So, so that's why oh, Gaza will turn some... up, demanded to be let in. Get yeah. Gaza in there. Uh, <laughs> Cuban cigars? Oh, I, th I thought so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two yeah. each yeah. at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if, uh, I'm going to stay here for a bit. No, I shall come back, <laughs> but I won't go there again next week. Diego Corner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's just gloss over that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. I, the only place we can go now. Yeah. Is Diego Corner? Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, it's, it, it won't go away. <laughs> and Luke's gone there. We've rented to, it out to bring you some quite magnificent scenes from South America, Luke. Yeah, uh, hi guys. Hello. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Hello. How's it going? We yeah, can hear. Right, not too bad. Um, thanks for asking. Um, yeah, basically, Diego is still being Diego Maradona. <laughs> yeah, well, that was always going to be the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if he was always. I think he was always like this, but I'm thinking I'm much more aware of it now because I know that I've got to deliver in Diego Corner. So I'm always. <laughs> I, it doesn't ever pass me by. Anymore. Now you've got a passport to Diego Corner. Yeah. Well, I'm the custodian. Oh, you? Yeah, really. And no okay. one else is here. Um, but, um, yeah, the, the best thing is, I mean, I've got a few things that he's been up to. Right. And you might have seen one or two of them, but I'll, I'll lead with the best one, which is basically, you remember last week we talked about him going to see Hugo Chavez? That's and, right. Um, who's obviously the, um, uh, uh, the, the Venezuelan president. Well, they're just going to play a bit of football oh, and they're softball. Oh, yeah, they're knocking about, playing yeah, a bit yeah, of football yeah. softball. It must be Cigars. sort of... I'd imagine w they're just chilling. They're probably not doing anything harmless. Things t have taken a much more serious twist. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of the Knife fight. Do tell. Well, do basically, tell. you know, well, I'm not sure if anyone knows, and, and I'm no. Um, Pete, expert. did you just have knife fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've got up. They've it's got not got that I reckon they would. <laughs> Stay tuned. I though. bet they do yeah. a bit of Russian roulette. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so. I'm no expert in international relations, no, but you no, may no. have seen in the news recently that, um, that Venezuela and uh, Colombia have had quite strange relations, and it's basically around... Um, Who would have thought? Vene but Colombia are accusing Venezuela of housing sort of Colombian rebels and looking after them and all this sort of stuff. I don't know if it's true or not. I'll get back to you. I'll ask Diego next yeah, time I see yeah. him. But Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez addressed the nation... Well, they, don't Colombia sort of have a few links to the US? Well, exactly. There's well, some little thing there. And to cut a long story short, yeah. Chavez isn't happy with Colombia, and he took an opportunity <laughs> to give an interview addressing the nation about, you know, what his plans were, what he was going to do, <laughs> how he feels about Colombia, <laughs> what the um, sort of border relations are going to be like. Diego was there. <laughs> <laughs> Diego's by his side. Standing next to him. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and Diego chipped in. 
saying I will support a Hugo Chavez. He's not even. He's not even Venezuelan. He's not even Venezuelan. Oh my god! But he chipped in saying I will support a Hugo Chavez until his ideals to the end. It's an honour to be at his side because he fights for his ideals for the people for his country. I am with him until death. It's like we were saying earlier. This World Cup is taking over the world in a very terrifyingly real way. <laughs> I, ju- I just like the fact that, that I can imagine Diego being exactly at ease uh, with uh, international foreign policy as he is yeah. with football to yeah. be fair it'll be alright <laughs> it'll be fine it, wh- why are you not signing your co- new contract to be Argentina coach for another four years there well I've been I've been in Venezuela <laughs> but that, let me put this into it's perspective starting a bit of a revolution actually <laughs> let me put this into perspective it. that is like the, um, that is like David Cameron <laughs> saying he's closing the channel tunnel and bringing Gaza along yeah. and saying to Gaza can say yeah well you know I, I agree. I'm with it till death. You, but you really don't. You don't I want brought Gaza. a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want Gaza turning up in inappropriate situations, do you? No, no, surely, it, it must be said actually with that whole thing where Gaza was involved. Surely his plan, right, was to use the fishing rod to get the chicken and the beer <laughs> into the guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, who knows? Who knows? But anyway. T- provide Ireland with a win or at least a draw. As I've been saying this. Hang on a minute. Where's, where's, rustling. where's Luke gone, Pete? I don't know. Oh, God, we're first we're down Jim's. Jim's gone to Edinburgh Corner. Luke's disappeared. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, where are you, Luke? Um, I think you know where I am. You're in Diego Corner, yes, lady. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I am. Oh, my God. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, it's Diego Corner's open. I finally remembered the, uh, the Is number. Is it open for business? I remembered the, the number for the combination lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 1986? <laughs> <laughs> That's my joke. You, you bastard. Forgive me. <laughs> That's all right. Um, but what's, yeah. what's going on? We thought it was closed for business. How What's like, happening? Pete, how long have we got left? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We've got emails and profile to get through yet, so I'll, maybe I'll, I'll save that for, for another time. <laughs> um, yes, well, I'm, I'm back in Diego Corner, and I, you probably know why, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, we're back there because yeah. Diego feels like he's had a bit enough, enough time out of football now. And he wants to come back. Has Hugo Chavez turned around and gone, look, I've really got to get on with running this country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to leave. <laughs> I've had a lovely, t- had a lovely time. I can't yeah. keep playing keepy up. You're yeah. stinking up the place with your yeah. onion breath. <laughs> but, um, weekend at Bernie's 3's finish filming now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get on with your life. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy's not even dead. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Now, you know when you've made it, you know you've made it. Well, we all know that Diego's made it. He's made it. He's, he's one of the most famous men in the world. What but are you talking You know you've made it when you've got a European representative. <laughs> he's got an official European representative. What's he been saying? His name's Walter Soriano. Yeah. If I was Diego, the first thing I'd be saying is, can you sort that Italian tax thing out for me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's sort of your area. Mm. But he's been saying, I think Diego would be very open to the idea of coming to England and managing Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Let's give the Aston Villa fans time to rec- sort of collect them. Themselves. Um, he's very attracted to English football and the way of your life in your country, no, and I know he'll be very willing to move there. He <laughs> loves the English countryside <laughs> and your respect for privacy, so he'd be very happy there, especially at a big club for Aston Villa. Respect for privacy? And our libel laws are second to none. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he has been offered a new deal. And he does hate the English for a chat show. Oh. He's doing a chat show instead. In Argentina? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's taken over Jonathan Ross or not. <laughs> I'd be for that personally, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, this was a chat show. He had a chat show in Argentina. Goy Kachir. Remember the keeper from the 1990 yeah. one? He was involved as well. But Goy Kachir has been doing um, TV work ever since he's retired. Okay. I think he was sort of putting sort of a safe pair of hands for Diego. Right. But, um, <laughs> like yeah. a handler. Yeah, he was. Yeah, look after him. I mean, if you... Sort of like Hansel and Lawrence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you were sort of... If you were... Uh, as- if he was a... Aston Villa manager no, They could never play in Europe Specifically Italy No he couldn't Away <laughs> games no, send no. It, I'm not coming I'm sending the, uh, <laughs> sending the assistant I'm yeah. sending my official European representative <laughs> instead Yeah <laughs> But anyway um, That's enough of that I'll be back in a minute Good stuff That's yeah. not how it works yeah. Oh dear oh dear <laughs> um, Luke is it, have my eyes deceived me, or are you standing in Diego Corner? I was sitting next to you, Marcus. <laughs> now I'm somewhere else. Oh, everyone's favourite corner's back. So favourite ethereal corner. Um, I bet everyone thought that because Diego Maradona hasn't got a job at the moment, that he's <laughs> regularly would... signing on. <laughs> well, you're the expert. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Diego Maradona is apparently up for taking the reins at. Portugal, Portugal. Um, Carlos Can everybody Quir- say Portugal? <laughs> Carlos Quiroz has been sacked As we know mm. um, One of Maradona's assistants One of his many Is Quiroz cracking up? One of his myriad assistants uh, <laughs> Alejandro Mancuso Said it's true Diego and I already talked about it It's a project that would please us greatly He has the will <laughs> And the total availability 
total availability. But so sounds far, like a terrible Arnie film. So far, and, and I hope you're all sitting down for this. He's not been contacted. <laughs> now, Come on, can, no. I, can I just uh, perhaps venture something? Um, to, to the rest of you guys now you guys will know that Kiros has been relieved of his position as Portugal manager <laughs> recently yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does anyone know what one of the main reasons for that was I do yeah interference in the drug test <laughs> <laughs> how would getting Diego Maradona in solve that problem <laughs> <laughs> think about that Portuguese FA before you make your decision um, th- yeah this is clearly all bollocks and it's not going to happen but we've got to talk yeah, about it yeah. mm. <laughs> apparently the, um, the assistant um, what's his name there uh, oh, Alejandro Mancuso yes apparently mm. he was saying that um, uh, th- Diego and I would love to uh, manage the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and all. <laughs> I bet they would, Pete. Yeah. I bet they flipping well would. I'll be back well, in a Messi wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thefootballramble.com. Thefootballramble.com. Right, now, as we were talking about Beals are there, Luke's disappeared. <laughs> Where are you, Luke? I'm in Diego Corner. Oh, everyone. no. Curating. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's time for the corner, ladies and gentlemen. What have you got for us? Well, El Diego has yep. been hailed as the king of football again this time by China oh my goodness he's gone to China um, in fairness I mean we do give him a lot of stick and stuff but it's another charitable thing he's a it's charitable man China Red Cross Foundation so a very noble cause oh yeah um, yeah and he's just been spouting his mouth off <laughs> uh, stuff. Yeah. Um, he said uh, I was wondering why a nation of 1.3 billion does not have a world class national team <laughs> I'm looking forward to having some serious talks about how to develop the sport here <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm not sure that you're who they need. It's like it's like a wrestling heel, sort of like I heard that this was Pussyville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. <laughs> we'll show you. And, yeah, go. And he's also doing his credentials as, as the um, Argentinian Harry Redknapp a lot of good when he said. <laughs> I have no intention of coming here for the coaching job, but if the question is raised, then we can sit down and discuss it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Putting himself in the frame for every job going. Now Not looking for the job, but if you want me, then I might have it. The thing about Chinese football is it's been completely uh, inundated with like match fixing, <laughs> but bum crooked referees, gamble syndicates, all this sort yeah. of stuff. So he's yeah. perfect for it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's ignored all that. Oh right. He said uh, this is this is the best quote. <laughs> to the Chinese soccer fans, I say continue to keep loving the sport. <laughs> China is a world sports power. It is a sleeping elephant in soccer. <laughs> it's definitely that, James. <laughs> if China needs me, I will try my best. Why would Tr- why would an awake elephant be good at football? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if China needs me, I'll try my best. That what? Yeah, exactly. It's an unexplainable sentence. He's going to run out of country soon. He's going to end up I in like I Hull or something yeah. going, if Hull wants me. And that will be in the air corner, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah, yeah. To the moon! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> China! So that's what he's been up to. Little, just a little update for you there. My goodness. Wonderful. Oh dear, oh dear. We, we can back him, can't we, eh? Yeah. yeah. We can still follow in the second division. Yeah. It'd be harder. We can still yeah. do it. Yeah. We'll find a way. Hmm. We'll get out there, yeah. Indeed. Oh, I feel a bit down, St. Pauli. On the brink of relegation, mm. I need a bit of cheering up. Uh, hang on a minute, Luke's gone off somewhere. Where could he have gone, James? It's not the fridge, so there's only one other possibility. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know where I went on the way. All right, you're not, you're not even my real dad. It's like did you drunk, mate? You don't know that. It's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> yes, I've blown the dust off. No, I've taken the cobwebs down. You're joking. And I'm in Diego Corner. Oh, welcome back, yeah. Diego Corner. Um, I was perusing the on internet. <laughs> and there are a few things that I medieval thought, internet that I, like, I, couldn't, uh, I could not pass up anymore he's, he's, Diego Conner's been put to bed for a while because he's not been doing much and we don't want to mm. milk it too much yeah. but, but, but it's never stopped us before <laughs> <laughs> after the Real Madrid and Barcelona first leg Champions League semi-final yes um, lots of people started comparing Messi to Maradona again yes oh, did they um, and there's nothing like getting Maradona out of the uh, out of the, uh, the sidelines <laughs> yeah. than comparing a current player to him. He can't resist it. No. He can't resist it. Uh, and he said, the key point is that we are two Argentines who are able to conquer a <laughs> European football. I love Leo, and whenever I see him on the pitch, it's a joy to watch. Two Argentines at the top. Imagine what Pele's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Only took him 20 words to get there, didn't it? <laughs> but Pele was not to be outdone. <laughs> Pele... Almost, I think, pensioner Pele. Yeah? yeah. We, oh, no, he's older than that. Hey, Pele's are, over 70. Are we going off to Pele Pyramid? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's, let's assume that Pele is 70 years old. He's a 70-year-old man. Yeah. And he responded but by he's saying... Older. I think he's older than that. He responded by saying... <laughs> this, is him, yeah, <laughs> this is him saying this. For me, Pele is the best. <laughs> For me, Pele, Pele is the best. <laughs> Nobody has done more than Pele. 
<laughs> he's the only player to be world champion at 17, <laughs> winning three World Cups and scoring over 1,208 goals. You'd think, you, being Pelle, you'd enjoy calling, not using the third person yeah. because you are him. You're yeah. the only person who is him. I've done done this. I've, I've done, done this. Yeah. Me. I've done it. It's when the world inevitably ends in some sort of nuclear meltdown, there'll just be cockroaches and them two arguing yeah. over who was yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. The egos hosting. will survive. Yeah. Yeah. And Roy Keane's But beard. in other news, um, <laughs> apparently El Diego's joined the candidates um, to take over um, San Lorenzo. I have seen the club San mm. Lorenzo. Um, club president Carlos Abdo said um, there's been contact with Diego oh. um, but other candidates inf- include former Argentina national team uh, coach Alfio Basile yep. and um, Marcelo Bielsa Bielsa yeah. two T- better candidates yeah, two men you yeah. actually can manage <laughs> yeah. so I, I would imagine that they might get the nod ahead of him yeah, but that's remember where we're talking about he's almost certainly going to get it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To Bielsa, yeah absolutely I, um, oh, I'd love to see him back hmm. Well, I want to see him in Europe, so it's a bit of a poison chalice for me. Double-edged <laughs> sword. Oh, yeah. I want to see him managing, but I want to see him managing where I can watch a lot of his games. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, but not specifically not Portsmouth. <laughs> <laughs> I would you love to Portsmouth, see that. Portsmouth, For a bit. Okay. <laughs> now, come on back. He's only going to be anywhere for yeah. a bit. Yeah. 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 Come on back. <laughs> yeah. Outrageous. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, um, as I gather my thoughts, I've noticed that Luke's gone to Diego Corner. Back oh. again. It hasn't been easy. <laughs> I was out on the streets looking for work, but finally I found it, and I'm pleased. Who's oh, that? Oh, Diego! El Diego! El Diego said that. that. It. We, we promised a quote. Out on the streets. <laughs> we promised a quote, and he apparently El Diego was out on the street looking for work. That's how bad it had got. But yeah, he's, he's got work now. Obviously, at our Wassel. El Warkio. Which we're all pleased for. Now, he set, he set his sights high for his first signing. There's, there's been reports saying that there are players, not literally Richard, but <laughs> players queuing up to, to play for him. And he's, he's made a big tout that he's going to go for Diego Forlan. Forlan? I know, well, I'm just, still in his prime. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> he's right. just won the golden ball. But while he's, um, I mean, the, the, I think Maradona is the only person in football I can think of who would use a press conference or an announcement that he's got a new job to talk about taking drugs <laughs> <laughs> so he did that as well he said that in a World Cup qualifier in 1993 against, saying, against Australia um, he said that um, they, were, they knew in advance there were no drug controls for the game and so they got the team doctor to put a banned substance in all their coffee Right. What, just for recreational purposes? Bear, yeah. Bear <laughs> LSD. In, bear in mind, one of the people involved is now currently <laughs> FIFA Vice President and AFA President um, Julio Grandona. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's staggering. But there was no... Dr- he's saying that there was no drug controls for that game. Why would they know that? <laughs> Why would <laughs> the players involved? know that? <laughs> it just, it just, maybe every manager checks before the game. And the drug... Co- now nah, there is again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on... <laughs> Get that coffee made up. But he's, I mean, um, and also he's found time to um, just have a puff at Pete. Uh, 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 um. Pete? What? <laughs> no, sorry. He's, he's taken time to have a bit of a pop at Batista as well, the, uh, the yeah, other we manager, will saying, um, I can't understand this Tevez situation. How can they say there is a better forward than him? They've got to be drunk or complete idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he said, everyone criticised me, but today's team, which is a joke, is not criticised. That is the difference. I know how things are, and in my opinion, they've taken a thousand steps backwards. It upsets me. We we had earned respect and a human quality inside a really good team. No. Now everyone's throwing that out the window. No, you went. <laughs> you got battered. At I the actually first think the man's mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But long may it continue. <laughs> Not mentally illness, Diego. Anyway, I'm coming back now. <laughs> God, he's going to get up to all kinds of stuff when he hasn't got, you know, to waste his time with football over yeah. the summer. It's going to be brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't He's do doing it. donuts in the car park <laughs> in the Maserati. Now, is it time for Diego Corner? It's up to you. Um, <laughs> well, I not stress that enough. Well, Luke's every there. Week. Luke's there. We could leave him there. Okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, Yay. hello. Luke, can, we were just talking about you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> um, yes, Diego Corner time. Last oh. one of the season. I'm a little bit sad about that, but hopefully it'll mm. be back next I'm year. I'm mildly relieved. I'll save all the stories throughout the summer. Will you? <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. have to do a whole show just to cover them, I'd think. Yeah, I'll just do it on my own. <laughs> <if you> like. <laughs> Thanks. Literally tens of people would listen. Um, you remember last week we were talking about the Argentina Australia playoff? No. The 19, yes, you do. The 1994 <laughs> World Cup. Mm. Um, well, the captain of Aust- Australia at the time, Paul Wade, uh, has come out and said, in quotes, he's absolutely gutted. Mate, I'm gutted. <laughs> this is yeah. to do with the what, drugs. Now? Well. Yeah, he, he, I don't think he knew you about just it. just realised. Well, but what he <laughs> said is, because what happened was uh, Maradona claimed um, that there was no drug testing, so Grandona, who's now the AFA president. Mm. Uh, and a big wig at FIFA, yeah, funnily said, enough. Said that they should all take drugs to make themselves. 
play yeah. better basically well, there's no laws against it but interestingly <laughs> enough what Paul Wade's saying now is he's saying when we went over to Buenos Aires for the second leg or the yeah. first leg whichever leg it was he said we saw how much the, the general public were into the game mm. and it would have been unthinkable for them to lose to us so it makes sense to him so he's now accepting it um, but the, the <laughs> I thought you were going to say so we will have a split <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but the point is the story is I've got some more quotes from Maradona here now El Diego appears to be absolutely gutted that it happened <laughs> even though he did it yeah. <laughs> so what he's saying is and this is a quote <laughs> Why weren't there any anti-doping controls in the match if we had them in all the other games? They give you 10 anti-doping controls and the only match that decides whether Argentina will go to the US or not, there is no anti-doping control. That's the cheat and Grondona knows it. <laughs> yeah, but you did it. Yeah, he's just, who cares now? <laughs> he's just, he just wants to beat Grondona with a stick, which is yeah. fine because we all want that to happen as well, but he's perhaps not the man to do it. We mm. were given speedy coffee. <laughs> oh. They put something in the coffee And that's why we ran more Is that caramel syrup? <laughs> El Diego Rather Speedy oddly coffee. Rather oddly ended on We took whatever the doctor gave us To go to the World Cup We'd have taken even orange juice <laughs> Perfectly fine <laughs> yeah. drink. Can you Imagine take that. orange juice? Yeah exactly you Snort it, it yeah. I'll end the, uh, the final El Diego corner of the season By saying by, With a quote from Grondona himself <laughs> First of all I don't have to repent Because the majority of Argentine people Accept me <laughs> 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 nice. uh, that more of that next season yeah indeed well there definitely will be because he's in charge of a club now yeah, exactly. yeah. what would you well for now will he make it through the summer he's hey. still not turning up there yet by the way <laughs> the, season, the last game of the season is at the 9th of June and he's not turning up to the end of June <laughs> no point what's the point <laughs> oh, come on back Luke we've got some email and someone threw a chicken at him hang on a minute uh, Luke's gone off somewhere could it be to Diego Corner yes it is Mike. here I am here we are again can you hear me yeah. alright Good. Um, <laughs> yes, well, I couldn't ignore this. Basically, there's been so much coverage of Diego's latest misdemeanor that I, I felt it's only fair that I gave it an outing. Yes, on the on the ramble. Um, he was posing in front of a flag recently, mm. um, given to him with with the words "Granddad, I am always with you. I love you, Benja." Um, when from behind the flag, uh, a sort of young supporter kept trying to lift it up from behind. And if you haven't seen it, um, <laughs> the, the, the it was is, funny. Yeah, it was funny. It was like a relentless sort of pecking bird. Yeah, the footage is of the flag, and then from behind the flag, it keeps it keeps flying up because yeah. someone keeps poking it and trying to take a photo. And to be fair, there was a bit of patience that you wouldn't normally associate with El Diego. As far as he, he tolerated it for about three I'm surprised times, he didn't get a pen knife out. Yeah, the fourth time he just booted him in the hand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with, his, with his left. Yeah, and he caught him well yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, he's not going to miss oh, him not, yeah that's right I think yeah. it's because he's the so accuracy. big his, his feet just look so stubby nowadays <laughs> I know he's always sort of quite diminutive but oh man he wasn't, <laughs> wasn't going to use his right foot um, no. now this spawned um, this sort of thing made Andre Wetzel a technical director at rival club Al Jazeera oh. to call Diego a circus act he said on the other hand, I'm pleased that a competing club like Al Wasser was a trainer who doesn't understand his job. <laughs> he shits on everything. <laughs> <laughs> he literally shits on everything. Yeah, that, no, that, that, was, that was a metaphor, yeah. <laughs> um, but Diego, yeah, but El Diego sort of responded to that and to other things. <laughs> um, basically, he was responding to a question where someone asked him um, why they haven't kept a clean sheet since he took charge. Well, just, oh, that's because he shits on everything. Um, he, said, he, he said, if you're scared, then don't come and watch the matches. <laughs> You can stay at home and watch DVDs or some comedy series. There's nothing to be scared about in football. <laughs> the answer to a different question, isn't it? Yeah, he's, <laughs> but he will do that. He will answer his own question. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah, that's that's um, what Diego's been up to. I'll keep you posted uh, next week. Yeah, very enjoyable. And Ivory Coast. Get it done, as I'm get telling you. Get the it elephants, did. get it done. Yeah. Right then. Uh, well, while we've been talking, there, Luke's gone off to Diego Corner. Look, can you hear me? Here I am, yeah. Go cool. what's been going on? Um, well, you know that recently Diego Corner's sort of, these days it's sort of moulded itself into sort of Diego and Pele Corner. It's mm. almost like a, a, a footballing version of men behaving badly. <laughs> but <the> Diego <laughs> Maradona is Martin Clunes and Pele is Neil Morrissey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Pele... Who's, who's Leslie Ash? Uh, I haven't got to that bit yet. I have to work it out. The Pele's piped up saying, um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened was people were talking about Messi being the greatest player of all time, blah, 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 uh, as they do. Uh, when they've got nothing else to talk about, and, and Pele was <laughs> Most so, of the time. yeah, yeah. Pele said to um, ramble about <laughs> when Messi scored 1,283 goals like me. When he's won three World Cups, <laughs> we'll talk about it, right? I, I really want Messi to do that <laughs> yeah. and just sort of go around Pele's, sort yeah. of put a chair, you know, backwards, sit on it, and go right then. Let's have a chat about this. 
<laughs> I'm only. Oh, I'm not. This is the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Messi's uh, far too humble. He yeah. also said, "Football changes. Records are there to be broken, but it will be hard to break mine." People always ask me, "When's the new Pele going to be born?" Never. My father and mother have closed the factory. <laughs> <laughs> A desperate man tried to cement it. <laughs> also, not really understanding biology, because if yeah, they had another yeah. parent, I had another kid, it wouldn't just be him again. No. And there's no right. factory involved. No. It's a hospital. Yes, carry on. <laughs> this is maybe due to old age affecting his thought processes, said Diego. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, a, with a modicum of respect. That, <laughs> certainly no more than that. Yeah. A globule he of said, respect. He went on to, to say, disrespectfully, you can't blame the guy, he hasn't been doing anything for 20 years. I haven't even seen him in a supermarket. <laughs> Why would you? Imagine that! It's like the House of Commons. Yeah. It's embarrassing. You don't even live in the same continent. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I love it. I cannot get enough of it. I don't know what he does. Usually, when you see him these days, it's only at award ceremonies next to the president of FIFA and looking like a doll that's been moved by remote control. His comments come <laughs> as no word. surprise. <laughs> Superb. He's let them both barrels there, Pete. Yeah, You've really got to is. say that's going to rumble on. Um, he also um, Diego was under uh, under pressure recently because um, in the cup competition that Al Wazel were in, um, yeah. the Emirates Cup, uh, they lost three 0 to Dubai SC. Um, and Diego fielded the weakened team for that tie. Um, Is this the same cup Arsenal host? <laughs> it might be, yeah. <laughs> Seems very odd. Do you not remember it? <laughs> um, the, um, anyway, but Diego fielded the weakened side, and then he came out sort of guns blazing and said, Well, <laughs> the management did not make enough reinforcements to the squad. I was promised six new players, but only two came. Like we say in Argentina, we would like to bring out all the meat from the fridge to serve it, but we were not <laughs> able to. <laughs> He's what? more of a Pigalunian man. <laughs> yeah. As if they say that in Argentina. It's a bit wordy, isn't it? Um, the dog gets face back, Diego. And the final bit from um, Diego Corner this week is um, United Arab Emirates players, or, or of, of United Arab Emirates nationality, will yeah. be dancing on the streets <laughs> because Diego's being linked with a job and if you take into uh, account that he used over 100 players when he was Argentinian manager um, yeah it'd be good for him to the get the citizens thinking like a cool yeah. Yeah. We, anyone yeah anyone um, that corner, so yeah that's, that's it that corner is rammed great sweet. stuff yeah, yeah, it definitely right. can be a Barcelona Madrid final, right? Because yeah. they do the semis as well, and I'll forget what the draw was. It, it, it could be. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right then, Luke. Off you go to Diego Corner. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Right. What's happening over there? Hello, everyone. Um, it's well, just normal stuff, really. But right, um, right. but I mean, as as these things work, as sure as night follows day, uh, Pele says something. So Diego, El Diego, has to respond. Pele recently <laughs> said. It's true. Which I mean, if you take this sort of. Because Diego's not mentioned at all, is he, in what Pele no, says here? but I just want to just touch on the fact that if you take this Pele sort of quote out in isolation, it is still the most outrageously <laughs> arrogant quote, <laughs> admittedly from probably the best footballer of all time. Fair enough, but with great power becomes great responsibility, you know. It'd be nice to see a bit of sort of modesty and yep. that sort of stuff. He says, I was born to play football just like Beethoven was born to write music. <laughs> I mean, come on. I don't blame Diego for this. I don't blame do you Diego think, do you for this. Do you think Diego, though, he types in Pele into a search engine and just clicks refresh? He gets, refresh. He gets a Google, Oh, there's one. He gets and a Google no, it's, it's all yeah. things like Pele prick, yeah. Pele dickhead. Yeah. Like, just stuff like yeah. that, just Pele. to sort of satisfy yeah. his own belief in. No, he's got a Google of that Pele, Pele quote. Yeah. So he just gets an email through. Whenever definitely, it happens, definitely. Yeah. And, and, Marad, and El Diego <laughs> says, if Pele thinks he's the Beethoven of football, then I'm Ronnie Wood, Keith Richards, and Bono of football because I have so much passion. <laughs> Bono? <laughs> yeah. He's brought the average down there, isn't he? Yeah. And my tax paying record is awful. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, how did Ronnie Wood make that little list there? Well, he's a Rolling Stone. <laughs> I've never, not the main one. I've never heard any Beethoven music in a match, so as I've told you before, any time he takes the wrong pill, he comes up with a crazy statement. <laughs> he loves the pill gags, doesn't he? <laughs> Pele yeah, may have it. taken the morning pills at night time, so he should make sure he takes the right pills. <laughs> All right, Charlie Nicholas, yeah. just going on a bit. <laughs> in fact, it would be better if he changed his doctor. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I would. One, two, yeah. Ordering, if you were ordering a pint of jelly deals and an East End boozer, how would you? How would you? Give him the eels, send him over. <laughs> <laughs> give him the fucking eels. 